Hi everyone, it's KK. I'm just here to give you some information. I'm going to do some videos um, <clears throat> coming up and this is what they're going to be about. I'm going to do a how-to video about what you can eat, um, which will, you know, clear up all the confusion. I've been getting a lot of questions based on the video of what you should not eat. So obviously I have to do one about what you can not eat. I'm also going to do one um, sh showing you how to prepare the foods that you can eat. So how you prep your vegetables, how you prep, you know, your, your meats, and how you, you know, you can pretty much um, have like easy access, gr pretty much grab and go um, for all of your foods. Um, and then I'm going to do one on lifestyle. This would talk about your sleep work workouts, uh, entertainment, and drinking alcohol, which I know a lot of you may have questions about as well. So I'm going to show you a couple books that I've read um, and uh, how I got to this point in terms of what our ancestors did and you know their lifestyle and that type of thing. So here's one. It's called The Paleo Diet. It's by Lauren Cordain. I'll also put it in the information box, so should you not be able to get a clear picture of it. Um, it's called The Paleo Diet for Athletes, but there's just one that's called The Paleo Diet, written by the same person. I just got this one. Um, it looks a little different, too. Um, then this is the one I'm currently reading. It's called Suicide by Sugar, and it's written by Nancy Appleton and G.N. Jacobs. And this happens to be one of my favorite books. I've read it, I don't know, maybe about three times already. And I still go back to it like a reference manual. This is called The Paleo Solution by Rob Wolf. It says, transform your life in 30 days, lose weight, get fit, and reverse disease. So I will be doing a paleo challenge for 30 days where you guys can win prizes and, you know, before and after picks are necessary. So if you're not willing to do it, there are no exceptions to the rule. And the way that it will work, uh, the paleo challenge, you have to give me a food log every week. Uh, and you have to give me a before and after picture. And you have to give me measurements. So, And it's going to be pretty easy. And the prizes are going to be great. You will be able to win one of these books when you do win um, the challenge. Um, so that's one. Another one that I like, because I love to cook, is called the Primal Blueprint Cookbook. There are some recipes in here that I don't use because they don't follow the paleo concept, but um, this this book has some recipes as well, and so does the Paleo Solution Diet. It does have some recipes in there, some that I use as well, prior to even reading those books, and I will be showing you how to do it. So, here's where I'm at. I'm on my way home tonight um, from working out, and I'm thinking, people who are overweight usually feel like they either one of two things. They feel like they can lose weight, but they think it's hard. Or two, they feel that they cannot lose weight because, you know, their their mom and their dad or people in their family are genetically big. Well, to tell you the truth, there's information now that we didn't have before. You know, um, and because your parents are on meds or your relatives are on meds and you are on meds does not mean that's how your life is supposed to run. We're working here for longevity and for you to have a better quality of life. I do not want to be an elderly person fighting my, you know, my walker to get across the street. And um, that's where we're headed, you know, living this type of lifestyle. So um, let's talk about an active view versus a non-active view. The non-active view is unhealthy and overweight and uncomfortable, probably in pain a lot. Um, I mean, in terms of your joints, you're out of breath. Um, you're probably not the happiest. I mean, someone told me that I mean, she's overweight, and she said to me that she can't lay flat at night. Um, so she has to be elevated all the time while she's sleeping because her breathing's impaired because of her weight. When she was smaller, she, I mean, she wasn't super small, much smaller, but she was a little lighter than she was now, and she could have slept flat. Now she can't. And it's just um, going along with her not being active and not eating properly. So let's talk about the active view. You're probably less stressed, probably having more fun. First of all, when you when you work out and you sweat, you get um, the toxins released from your body. You actually feel like you've achieved something. It, it releases all these you know these things that create tension in your life, and you get this endearing sense of accomplishment when you're finished with the workout. You feel like yes, I've done it. 
even after a hard, long, tiring day at work, this workout could actually make you feel better. Just enough time for you to go home, shower, and hit the bed. Um, and for those of you who just have no care in the world about like the science behind how all this works and you just want to look good naked, this is how we do it. So, I have like some statistics that I'm going to throw at you later on and it's about um, what we can do to prevent certain diseases and also um, there's a center uh, for disease control and they have like a bunch of statistics online. You can take a look at them and look at obesity, look at obesity and professionals, you know, and it all has to do with your lifestyle, which is why I'm going to do a video about that as well. Um, we all like have this American dream and we're working every day really hard. Whether you live in this country or not, we all sort of delve in this American dream. So you're working these long hours not eating properly, barely working out, your stress level is through the roof, you're hardly sleeping, you're hardly eating, and when you do make food choices, they're probably grab and go and they're not the best. So you're gaining weight, your blood pressure is going up, and a whole bunch of other things because you're fighting for this American dream or you're fighting to keep this job, to keep this prestige and this image. Now, obviously, I can't deter you from your ambitions in life, but what I could probably try to express to you is that this life that we have is just one. We have this just one life that we could, tur we, we could either enjoy it or we can't, or we don't allow ourselves to. So my point here is this life that we have, it is meant to be enjoyed. Every bit of it is meant to be enjoyed. So try doing something new. Like... Um, the other day, I didn't feel like going to my usual workout class, and I just decided to go to a dance class. I mean, I am the least coordinated person that you could probably know, but I had so much fun. I met a bunch of new people, and they were very, like, motivating in, in the class, and the instructor was pretty nice. Like, he came over to me a couple of times and tried to help me do the steps. It was my first class, and I felt great. I felt like whoa, I can do this. So I, I plan now every week I'm going to take a different type of class. That class in particular was a West African dance, and so I'm going to take samba and probably something classical. I know I can't do it great, but my point is I'm trying something new. And it's exciting and it's fun. And life is supposed to be like that. So if you're accustomed to reading novels that are love stories, try a horror story. Try something of um, adventure. Or just go into Barnes & Nobles or Borders and just pick a book. Whether you know it or not, just pick a book. You don't like it, you could return it, you know? But my point is, just try something new. If, you, if you've never worked out, try working out. If you always work out, try not working out. And that sometimes is also great. Like, overtraining is not a good idea. So, this life is to be enjoyed. You want to lose weight, you want to get healthy, you can. And I'll help you. Email me any questions you have. We, I'm actually going to create a BBM um, Messenger um, forum where we can actually talk every day about nutrition and stuff like that. And it's not impeding on anyone else's concept. This is just between people in the BBM group. Right now I have one um, going on with a couple of friends. We just talk about random stuff. And fitness is... you lately one of the hot topics so instead of like boring other people we're gonna do one just for fitness and so um, you can also tune into the blog Kilter Athletics at blogspot.com that's K-I-L-T-E-R athletics at blogspot.com so thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for the other videos that I have coming up and I hope this video motivated you to at least start do something new try something spontaneous Change is the only constant in science. So, have a good afternoon. Thanks for watching.